so let's say, you know, in the beginning, before anything was anything, you know, there was just this silent, alert, universal, all-encompassing intelligence that uh, was all there is. <clears throat> and it knows that. It knows that it is all there is, this intelligence. Uh, and so obviously it knows that uh, there's no need to seek itself because it could only ever find itself wherever it sought, you know. <clears throat> so uh, to have the experience of what it would be like to to really believe that it could find something else other than itself, uh, it would have to kind of get creative, you know. It'd have to, well, gee, you know, how do I go about doing that? You know, well, maybe I'll create this thing called the universe and uh, make some planets, you know, call one the, the Earth, I guess, put some bodies on it, you know. You know, separate things, make 10,000 million, billion, trillion, gazillion things, all that appear separate from each other, you know, even though I'll know full well that it's all me. And then, uh, <clears throat> and then, you know, obviously that won't quite be enough because I'll still know that I am there in all of these things, I'll, I'll still, there'll still be this recognition of unity there, that there's nothing outside of this um, singular consciousness that is I. So I'll have to get a little bit more creative as well. <clears throat> I'll have to then give these human beings, these bodies, minds that uh, identify with existence that, to, that starts to draw conclusions and form a picture of a individual self, a personal self, so that they, this thing called me can be seem to exist. And through that identification, um, I'll have to create a recipe where this human mind, this human being, um, forgets that it is all that is, or that all that is, is enough. I'll have to create a situation where it, it no longer believes that all that is, is enough. So I'll, you know, I'll create the, the right circumstances, the right situation where uh, this human being will <clears throat> this human mind will draw a conclusion that there's something wrong. There's something wrong with it. There's something wrong with reality with what it is. And I'll, out of that judgment that something is wrong, it's agreement with itself that something is wrong, a search for something else will start to happen for this supposed something else, this thing that will make everything complete and better, more uh, truthful. <clears throat> so there, that's kind of the framework I was talking about. <clears throat>